this work isn't occurring much on the coast, and I don't think anywhere in the province anymore, right? So um, industry isn't doing a lot of um, pruning of stands at, at this time. provide a mixed stand of about 650 stems a hectare at the same time coming through and doing a first lift of pruning so we're using the saws to fall trees that are undersized under 15 centimeters and then we're using hand saws to do a first lift prune up to about seven eight feet you can see you've got a mixed stand of size of trees for one thing and as well, we've got a mixed stand of species of trees in here. We've got cedar, alder, we've got arbutus. So we're trying to promote diversity. We are trying to thin out the trees that are going to die in the next, in the near future, because they're too small and they're going to, they're not shade tolerant. We're spacing at about four meters or 16 feet between the trees to give us about 650 stems per hectare. But uh, like we say, it's tough to. You can't kind of micro plot in here. You have to really see the big picture of what's going on. And you can hear I'm making a bunch of noise in there, right? But we're going in and trying to identify the trees that are either getting canopied out, especially Douglas fir that aren't going to do well in the shade. We're trying to get rid of those now, but we're also trying to promote, you know, wildlife trees. For example, here's a nice cedar over there. It looks like a highlighted woodpecker can add as well. We're also trying to make it so that you can move through here. If you look at what's on the other side of the trail compared to over here, you're going to have a much easier time moving through this ground that we've worked on compared to what is over here on the other side. You'll see the, some woodlot owners are doing this kind of work where they'll access money post free to grow to do, you know, what, what we're seeing as a first lift prune and then they'll come even and do a second lift, second lift prune after that. Kind of a unique job in that usually it's landowners or woodlot owners that have a long-term a long vision for a, a specific area that are doing this kind of work. Right?